Shoulders up to ears, big squeeze, and release. Shoulders up to ears, and release. Quite a nice one. If you if you are with in intentions, you could think about letting go with the shoulder shrug, letting go of expectation, tension, letting go of anything that happened yesterday, <laughs> letting go of anything you've got planned just for tomorrow, for now, any judgments, letting go of the breath, two more, last one and then release so neck release shoulder glide and then side bend so reach one arm out ear down into shoulder keep the hips still and centered reach to the side wall then reach up and then take your side bend i mean i always like hand on hip just to get that extra support and then again same side so we'll do four on each side maybe you can get a little bit further into the the stretches each time Equal amount of weight on the feet, so kind of press down through the balls of the feet, the heels, inside, outside of the feet. Last time, ear down, shoulder glide, centering, nice long side bend, a couple of breaths here if you want to. Really send the breath all the way down towards the feet. And then release. We'll go to the other side four times. Arm up level with the shoulder. Ear down to shoulder. Into that reach to the side wall. Center it. Lift. Hand on hip for a bit of support. Go over onto your side bend. Take a little check you're still drawing in. Particularly TVA. Sometimes we lose that TVA on a, on a side stretch. Pelvis tucked under. Notice if this side feels any different to the other side. <laughs> For some reason for me, this feels a little bit tighter today. Not sure why. Last time and then we'll hold on the side bend. Shoulder glide, center, reaching up, over, and then just take these couple of breaths. Send the breath all the way down into the feet. Really stretch those fingertips like you've just done in the mandras. And then release. So cactus arms. And, and this is an interesting one. So maybe if you can see yourself in the screen, you might see where you're at because sometimes it looks like this or like that. So shoulders down and back. If you need to do a, little, a couple of shoulder rolls, you can. So take them down and then forwards like a zombie. Then go back then up and then reaching up like a streamlined position like you were diving into the pool so it's down and then it's reach and then cactus and then reaching up if we think about what we do in swan dive when we're lying on our fronts it is that position and then we extend so it's quite a nice way to warm up the muscles in our shoulders and backs just to do this one standing just notice what's happened in the pelvis so are you arching in the lower back so draw in the core, tuck the pelvis in there. And then just for an experiment, just see if you can do it with one, <laughs> one hand and then keep the other one <laughs> still and then go to the other side. <laughs> challenge, challenge, for some reason that's challenging, I don't know why. <laughs> and then release. Shoulders down about a couple of circles. Scapula set, you could put your weights in if you want to here. I'm gonna grab mine. Roll the shoulders down, tuck the pelvis under, find the core. Elbows tucked into your sides, so thinking about not taking them back or forwards. Length at the back of the neck. Try and squeeze shoulder blades together. Find the core muscles. Breathing out as you take the weights to the sides. Stay strong in the wrists. So if we feel like you're dropping in that position, just tighten them up a little bit. Then again, the little bit of experiment, just try one at a time. 
And then the other one, I don't know if they feel the same. <laughs> okay, we're going to our squats then. So feet hip width apart. I'm just going to adjust my camera so oh, more of my body's in the in the screen. Oh, sorry. Um, so it'll be a plain squat and then circle the arms down and around. So you've got your squat and then arms all the way around. Just keeping an eye on what's happening with the knees. So a little glance down, check the knees don't pronate in. The feet are parallel, you're not dropping down into the, um, into the arches too much. Equal weight, inside, outside of feet. Breathing in left. If you haven't got weights, you could go up onto the toes if you want to when you take the arms up and over. <laughs> That's Ola, <laughs> the dog. <laughs> She's just nestled into bed and she just did a little bit of a... <laughs> Three more. Perhaps going a little bit lower on these last ones. Think about that length in the lower back like we did a few weeks ago using blocks on the heels. Okay, weights to the side for a sec. A um, bit of a balance exercise next. Bit of a combination of things that we've done over the month. I'm just going to put it like that, see. Just so I've got limited space tonight. So, high knee to pick a side. High knee, just take a balance. Draw in the core. Then take that over to take a tree. And you could lift the arms up over the head there. Then from tree, I'm going to just move around so you can see, take dancer, so holding on to the ankle. Then extend forward, reach the other hand forwards. Then extend that back leg open to star, so there's a little bit of a diagonal um, here. Reach one arm up to the ceiling, the other arm down using your big toe as a bit of an anchor and then finish with eagle so remember we did this week two in, in um, July cross the legs cross the arms and then you could work into a lift okay so we're going to do that two more times through on that side let's see if I can get a bit more that's a bit better isn't it a bit more of me in it sorry okay so same same leg high knees Trees, dancers, <laughs> reaching forwards, extend, take your stars, so really work on things on a diagonal with the leg, squeeze the glutes, one arm up to the ceiling, then take your wrap, the eagles. Crossing the arms, interlinking hands if you can, and maybe think about bringing the eye gaze up. Release. Last time on that side. <laughs> Should probably, probably be able to nail it on this one. Okay, high knees. Trees. Just remembering to breathe. <laughs> Dancer. Leaning it forwards. To the stars, extend that back leg, squeezing in the glutes, arm up to the ceiling, other arm down, really spread open the fingers, and then eagle wraps, bending in the knees, lifting up the elbows, eye gaze up if you can, and then release. So we'll do the same thing three times on the other side. So if you need a bit of a shake out, okay, same thing. So high knee, trees. If you want to take a little bit slower as well, just, just take your time, do it how you want to do it. Dancers, leaning, in that, leaning it forwards. I have to be around because of the space. <laughs> you can bend in this, this, um, this standing knee. Into your stars, extend that back leg. 
One arm up to the ceiling, other arm down. Use your big toe as an anchor. Use pelvic floor. Find some sort of wrap with an eagle. Cross the arms the other way, interlink the fingers. If you can, bring the eye gaze up. And then release. Two more times. <laughs> High knees. Engage pelvic floor. Trees. Hands are going up towards the ceiling. Dancers. Again, finding pelvic floor, finding some sort of focus, eye gaze on something in front. Opening out to your diagonal stars. Squeezing in the glutes, stretch out the fingers. Try and get some opening there on the chest. To eagles. Again, interlink everything on a wrap, binding. See if you can bring the eye gaze up to the fingers. And release, last time, <laughs> promise. High knees, check you're not um, tilting in the hips. Trees, finding the core, dancer. Maybe you get a bit of a quad stretch there, at the front of the leg. Extend and open out to your stars. Finding some sort of eagle, just to finish. Crossing the arms, interlink the fingers, eye gaze up. Woo. And then release, quite a lot of um, balance in there, isn't there? Okay, take a really wide stance. Uh, and it doesn't matter, you do, don't necessarily have to have your feet um, directly facing forward, they can turn out slightly if it's more comfortable. Bending in one knee, and we're just coming down here for like um, a bit of a squat or a, you know, a stretch, so you feel it on the inner thigh here, and then centering and then over to the other side. So if you need to adjust how wide you've gone, that's fine. And then what you can do with that is you can bring your hands down towards the floor, so you can go a little bit lower, down towards the floor, and then lift. So keep working through them. Um, it's a bit like a, like the idea of like being a lizard with your hands on the floor. <laughs> so options here, you can put your elbow into your knee and reach up, take a chest stretch and a twist. Looking up. And then you can walk that over, walk your hands through the middle, over to the other side. Thinking here about this other, this um, hamstring stretch and the foot can go up to the ceiling. So you're getting a little bit more of a stretch in there. You can just walk it through, bending in the knees. Just take your time because it's obviously quite a lot of work into the hips. If it feels too much putting the, knee, the elbow inside the knee, you can try on the outside. Working your twist a little bit more open. <laughs> then there is a challenge if you want it. So you do this whole thing without putting your hands down. So you go down. Then you turn the foot up towards the ceiling. You probably won't put the twist in. And then you see if you can lift yourself up without touching the floor. And then over to the side. <laughs> so there is a challenge if you want a challenge for balance. Coming into centre then, wide, ang wide forward fold, so just angle the feet so they're slightly turning inwards, so we're going to get stretches on the backs of the legs. Uh, and then if you can, hold on to your thighs or your shins, and then try and get just the back your back in a nice straight kind of table position. So send your hips back into space. It, you know, um, extend the backs of the legs for the hamstring stretch, but lift the chest and send that forwards and take the shoulders down and back. Keep that crown head in line with the spine. So if you can take four deep breaths here and you could yogic breath maybe here as well.
thinking about just getting some length there back in the hamstrings, in the lower back. You can really send the breath all the way down to the feet. Okay, coming up then just maybe a little bit of a shake out. Now your single leg exercise, so whatever you normally want to do, you've got your stairs, you've got your single leg dips on the stairs, you've got your chair, your chair squat, what else have we been doing? You've got um, lunges. I know Joe always says lunges. Um, deadlift. I'm going to do a deadlift. I think that's about all the space I've got. Ten on each leg is what you're going to go for. Um, if you've got time, do two sets of that. If you've got weights, you could put them into your deadlift. Um, or you could put them into your lunges if you feel comfortable with that. Focusing on the knee and trying not to let the knee pronate in or the hips tilt and twist. Engaging and pulling in the core. Using the big toe if you're doing, if you're working with balance there. As you reset after each repetition, just be aware of what's happening with your chest and your shoulders. So try not to let everything kind of uh, drop after each rep. So sort of lift, set the shoulders down and back, length at the back of the neck each time. Like you've got that golden thread just drawing and pulling up on the top of the crown of the head. Thinking about engaging the glutes with this as well. Don't know if you've, anyone's noticed any, they're more wobbly on one side compared to the other. So once you've done your 10 on each side, it's, we'll meet in a downward dog. So make your way down there. Have a slow roll down if it's um, if you're a little bit tight. Just getting this set up. Not quite as um, not quite that Merla studio really, but. I think we're just about okay. Perhaps just pedalling through, stretching out the backs of the legs, hip width with your feet, spread the fingers, push the palms down into the mat. So I've been playing around with Dammit Dog a little bit and just for a bit of fun. I did try the other day, crossing over my hands. So if you want a challenge, cross over the hands. And you could try as well, crossing over the legs. So see if you can take a little bit of a, a wrap and then you can try and unravel all that. Crossing over the arms and crossing over the legs the other way around. Keep sending the hips up to the ceiling. <laughs> Turning the chest towards the thighs. Don't forget to breathe. Then eventually you're going to bring that down into all fours, hands under shoulders and knees under hips. So just extend one leg and push back through the heel. So you're just kind of getting a little bit of length through um, this, this leg. Try and stay in neutral spine, so find the core and pull in. So take the knee out to the side slightly and go knee to elbow and then extend. So there's a nice little bit of a hip move. 
kind of a bit of a combination on dog peeing that I normally do, dog peeing on the lamppost. The knee towards elbow doesn't necessarily need to, need to touch. And this foot actually can turn outwards a little bit as well. It doesn't need to be turning in. It's allowed to go outwards slightly on this one. Keep squeezing the glutes. A nice glute exercise as well. Hip mobility and glutes. Three more. Crown ahead in line with spine, so try not to drop the head here. Then you're just going to step that foot forwards, place it by your hand, take a lizard stretch. So you've got both hands down through the centre and you can then put your, your, your front foot just off the mat. So we're kind of really opening in the um, inner thigh area and the hips. Just a couple of breaths here. And then the... The side, the hand that's um, the opposite side to the one you've got your foot forwards, drop it off the mat and put in a little twist. Just reaching the other arm up to the ceiling. Just working it in the shoulders and the chest, bringing it back into centre, then straightening this front leg for a hamstring stretch. And then on this one, you can really flex the foot, toes go up towards the ceiling, square the hips. Remember last week we were doing that standing intense length stretch and I was really thinking about what we were doing the hips when we, when we were going for blocks and things. So this is the same kind of exercise. Try and square hips towards your front facing. Feel the hamstring stretch. Now, if you want, you could bring yourself forwards into this. So drop your chest, but try and keep your shoulders down at back. So keeping that nice straight back like we've done earlier in the wide forward fold. And you can place your hands on the legs for the stretch. So intense stretch down that central band of the hamstring. A couple of deep breaths. And maybe a circle on the ankles quite nice as well. If you feel like that kind of works towards the corners of that stretch, you could circle the foot. Then gently bend into that front leg where you might want to adjust and we're going to go on to the other side doing those same exercises. So start on all fours, neutral spine, pulling in the core. Find that length at the back of the neck, crown head in line with spine, then it's knee towards elbow, and then it's extend. So it's that nice hip opening exercise. You know, like normally I'm very like, oh, everything's got to be um, aligned and um, like foot facing down. He's like, let's just, just go, go a little bit more with the flow on this, let your body move. Think about opening around on the hips, but at the same time squeezing those glutes. Try and keep the lower back nice and strong, pulling in the core. If you can, breathing out into the extension. Try not to look down at the knees. So, eye gaze to the front of the mat, three more. Then you've got that step forwards to go into that lizard stretch to take that foot just off the mat. If it helps, a little bit of a tilt side to side to work into the hips a little bit. I've got quite a lot of gentle hip stretches tonight, so. Then you've got that um, twist if you want to put it in. So you've got your hand, opposite, the, op the opposite hand to the foot you've got forwards, off the mat, and then reaching the other hand up to the ceiling. Try and just create some space there in the chest. So if you can take the eye gaze up. Bring it all back around to centre and then you've got your hamstring stretch. So extend the um, that leg in front, flex the foot up towards the ceiling. <clears throat> then think about what your hips are doing. 
So if they're tilting, try and square them to the front of the mat. Then you can start thinking about kind of engaging with the core and dropping the chest forwards, but keeping that length on the spine. And then if you did the ankle circles and you want to have a go with them again, it might just take you to the corners of the stretch. Try not to hold the breath here. Again, gently bend and move yourself back on to all fours. We're going to do cat to cow, spine, spine mobility work. So chin into chest, tuck the pelvis under, look towards the knees, get some space between the shoulder blades, then drop it down. And when I say drop it down, send your chest forward, but squeeze your shoulder blades together. So it's almost like a, a shoulder release. So if we were actually um, lying on our backs, and I think last week I did a shoulder release, See if you can do that exact thing in cat with cow. And maybe you get a little bit of release on the neck as well. When you come into that cow, just send the chest forwards just ever so slightly. Chance now if you want to do a wrist stretch, so fingertips towards the knees, just take one hand at a time. Put some weight down through the wrist. And then just switching that over. So this is a nice little juicy um, hip mobility stretch. So basically you're on all fours and you're just gonna allow both um, like the hips to drop to one side and then you center that so it's kind of a nice kind of flow move so you're just allowing the body to move and then centering so it's kind of on the outside of the hip you get a little bit of a stretch a bit of lower back work engage the core still <laughs> it looked like Mario, it looked like you were going to fall over then. <laughs> I think it was the face that you did then, it looked like you were toppling. <laughs> Last one. So come back into Downward Dog just after doing some of those moves and just see how it feels after kind of doing the hip mobility work, some of that release there on the lower back the shoulders, spread the fingers, send the hips up. Maybe it feels like you've got a little bit more space in the body. Created that little bit of space. Deep breath and then bring it down onto our sphinx. So we'll come all the way down on our fronts. I might just switch myself around so I'm facing this way. I just think the light might be better. Elbows are underneath your shoulders, just rest your hands on the mat. Um, let your feet relax, but if you can just bring your bring your uh, kneecaps off the mat just ever for a moment, just to get a little bit of length and then bring them back down. So here, send the hips down towards the mat and find some maybe abdominal stretching in here. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Eye gaze forwards, send the shoulders down. And just take a couple of deep breaths here in this stillness. If perhaps you're working with um, compassion as your intention this month, maybe things like when we're thinking about the heart and we're opening around the heart, you could think about your intention at that moment. Maybe compassionate to yourself. So from here we're going to take, it's a bit like dancer, a quad stretch, so reach, um, have elbow underneath your shoulder, one side, Doesn't you choose your sides, then you reach the arm around, 
and then you're going to hold on to the, um, the ankle, and no, actually you're going to put your hand on the foot, and what you're going to do is push your foot into your hand, so you're, it's an engagement stretch, it's an active stretch, it's not just a passive, so push your, the sole of your foot into your hand and push your hand down, <laughs> so you should feel your quad is kind of engaging, almost pressing down into the mat, your hips pushing, it's actually quite hard, it's a hard move, <laughs> Couple of deep breaths, keep pushing. Try and get the lift on the chest, but the shoulders relaxed. And then release, we'll go to the other side. So you've got your elbow underneath your shoulder, you bring the forearm kind of, um, so it's um, in front of the chest, bending in the knee, sole of foot resting on the hand. Try and get a bit of opening for the twist on the, on the chest. And then you can start just pushing, hand down, foot up. Find the quad on the front of the leg. Send the hips down. About eight to 10 seconds is what we're doing here. Just breathe. And then release, bring it down, then we'll come all the way down onto our fronts, so we'll do some glute activations. So rest your forehead on your hand, squeezing in the glute, just gently lift. Try not to think about how high, so just more thinking about these activations, what we're working. We're thinking about that squeeze on the glutes, we're thinking about the hamstring engagement, perhaps pointing toes to get a bit of length in the, in the legs. Are you feeling the third point where after the hamstring engages the lower back on the other side of the body is stabilizing those hips breathing out to left breathing into lower three more Then let's go to swan dive. Um, we did, so remember we did cactus extensions in warm up, so it'd be interesting to see how this feels. So cactus the arms, breathing out, lift head and shoulders, a couple of these before you put in your extensions. Engage the pelvic floor. Try and keep the crown of head in line with the spine. And then if you want, you could add in lifting up the arms and lowering. Breathing out to left. Breathing into lower. Four more. Your choice, bring in those extensions, reach forwards, add in an extra breath. Almost reaching the toes off the end of the mat as well, so you're really thinking about length through the body. Then release stretch from here is going to be um, into child's pose. So sit back on towards the heels. If that doesn't suit you, you can do your puppy dogs with your hips up. If you can, though, use the diamond mundra for your child's pose. So just index fingers together, thumbs together. Place the diamond just in front of your forehead. So if you can bring your forehead down onto the mat, elbows off the edges of the mat. Five deep breaths here. Send the breath all the way to the lower back. See if you can really fill the body with the breath all the way up towards the crown of the head. So from there then, uh, picking a side. So we're gonna go to 
clams but I'm not going to put the loop bands in actually on this one today so it's a bit more of a stretching type clam so we take the time see how I'm getting on <laughs> okay so it's going to be pick a side bend the knees heels in line with hips and shoulders it's knees touch so it's again there's a little bit more hip mobility up to heels touch this the um, bottom heel is lifted knees touch and then heels touch just turn on these engage the core so find pelvic floor and ever so lightness of touch so not we're not kind of like really um resting the knee on on the other knee just ever so light light touch try not to hold the breath I'm surprised my cat hasn't come in yet. He'll come darting through that cat flap in a minute. <laughs> Go meow! He always does it, he always meows when he comes in. <laughs> He's normally curious about if I'm talking, what am I doing? Extend both legs, slightly different on this double leg lift today. So both legs lift at the same time and then just reach your fingertips down to your side of your knee. So we're getting a really big squeeze in the side body. And then bring it all the way back down. And then again into a bit of a lift. And then a lower. So you can work in, you know, extending the arm as you lower. Lift, as you lift, you can point those toes and think about length through the body. And lower, so it's a nice little bit of oblique work, and maybe you might feel a little bit of a pinch down the lower back. Two more. Breathing out to left. And then release. So we're we'll going to the other side. I've got a nice little surprise for the end of the side series. In a minute. <laughs> Bending the knees then, lift up the heels, heels in line with hips and shoulders, draw in the core like you're almost going to fall forwards, then it's knees touch and then heels touch, just working through gently, maybe hand on hip, don't let the kind of hips really open so we are working with the glute med as well still. I often find the bit where I'm taking the knee down harder to control. I don't know if anyone else is finding that. Quite good if you run on um, multi-terrain uh, stuff because obviously you have to, um, your hips need to be able to adapt for to shake the shaky ground. And that the fact that your knee is going to move around quite a bit. More. Extending the legs then to that double leg lift. So lifting up both legs, engage the core, then just sliding fingertips down to the side of the knee and then just allow everything to bring it down gently. Breathing out into that lift, breathing into lower. Try not to look down at the, the, the feet, so looking forwards just because otherwise you're going to lose that kind of nice posture work we've done. Well, you won't lose it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Keep engaging with the pelvic floor. Last one. And release. So you might have noticed we missed the um, plank. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go 30 seconds front plank, 30 seconds side, 30 seconds back plank, 30 seconds side. So let's start with, um, yeah, let, no, actually let's start with the front plank. So elbows underneath your shoulders. You can either do this version with the knees bent or you might want to go with legs straight, pushing back towards the heels. So 30 seconds. Do you want me to, uh, should I put, I think I will count. Count this through, try and keep some sort of focus, try not to hold the breath. Find good engagement here with the TVA and the core, length at the back of the neck. 
Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick a side, your version of side plank, elbow under shoulder. You might have your knees down or you might have your legs straight. If you've got your legs straight, think about what's happening in the spine here, so keep a nice straight line. We're not crumbling, the chest is opening. You might even go elbow up to um, the ceiling if you're thinking about the chest a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Don't know these hips drop. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. You might have noticed I can't do the, the can't count after 20. <laughs> I have to go back. Back plank. So options here. You've got this option, I would say is, is a nice beginner's layer. This option is probably the next layer. If you want good glute hamstring progression or strength, take it down on the elbows. Lift up the hips. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep squeezing. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Last side. Again, your option. You could be having with the with the knee down, side plank, elbow under shoulder. Oh, just to cut my head off. <laughs> Hips lifted. Here we go. Last time. Draw in the core. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep those hips up. 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Release it down. Brilliant. Okay. On our backs then now. Should feel really, really strong. Nice and solid after that. <laughs> opposite arm, opposite uh, leg drop. So bend the knees. Arms up towards the ceiling, length at the back of the neck, neutral spine, pull in the core. Just allow one knee to drop and then the opposite arm goes to the side and recenter. So on Thursday at the British Hall, like, we have these blocks and I put them, I put blocks on people's hips. So if you have got any, anything around, you can notice if your hips are moving then, like a, a book maybe. I try and think what else, but I don't know. I just have a real gate, like have a good kind of feel for what's happening in the pelvis. This is this is pelvic stability work, so you don't want to let the knee drop so far. You're opening the hips, and the pelvis is is changing. If you feel like you've got that sort of um, imprint in there, and you're happy with how still your pelvis is, you could take one leg straight. <coughs> And then you could try the one leg circle just here. Staying super still in the pelvis. Point the toes if you can. Other knees stay still. Just small circles to begin with. If you've got the control, you could go a little bit bigger. Don't let the lower back uh, and your bum lift off the floor here. So you don't have to have your foot going up towards the ceiling. It can be a bit more on a diagonal. Like you're drawing a circle in the same direction that the knee, the other knee's pointing. And then just swap legs and pointing toes if you can. Really slow circles, really still here in the pelvis. Don't forget to breathe as well. Sometimes when we concentrate, you, we do breathe. <laughs> Other knees stay still, try not to let it spiral. Okay, five sets of the 100. 
feeling like we're ready for something like that. Five neutral spine, pull in the core, four toe taps, eight pulses, and then an eight second hold. Here we go then, so four, and three. Imprint that lower back down, use the core, two, and one, lift head and shoulders, look to knees, pulse the arms, keep the tummy still. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slide hands towards your knees, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. If you want more, then tabletop this. Four, and three, and two, and one, ready to pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Here we go then, and four, three, Still imprinting, two, and one, ready to pulse. You could take a hover here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold teasers if you've got them. Lift up the chest, take the shoulders down and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release, two more sets. Four, three, two, and one, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Lift at the chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Last time. Four, and three, two, one. Ready to pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Shoulders down and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. <laughs> Full body stretch. Give everything a bit of a squeeze. Scrunch up the fists. Scrunch up your face. Big deep breath in. Get your shoulders right up to your ears. Breathing out. Just let everything go. All the muscles can relax. Bending knees in, heel slide, the heel, uh, heel away and then bring it back to centre. Maybe hands uh, just resting on your hips or your pelvis area. See if you can notice if anything's tilting or moving. See if you can use the core now to keep that really still. Imprint the lower back down. Adding in, if you want, palms together. Chin goes to chest, draw. Palms across to the bent knee and then recenter it. Chin to chest, cross to that bent knee, and recenter. If you want more, just tabletop that move. Single leg stretch. Breathing out. Nice, slow, precise movements. Try and keep the feet hip width, knees hip width. Two more. So, gonna do the double leg stretch next, but we're gonna put in the shoulder stand. So, it's gonna go breathing out, arms over the head. If you've got the space, you can circle as well. Coming back to centre, put the arms down, bending in the knees, push up to your shoulder stands, support your lower back, then lower that down, vertebrae by vertebrae, use your hands as support, place your hands back underneath, uh, kind of where your bum is, double leg stretch, do a couple of them, then you could go arms over, and then back, then you go up into your shoulder stands again, Lowering it all the way down with control. Double leg stretch. If you want more, take the arms over a couple of times with your double leg stretch. So you probably don't need to do the separate arms. Sometimes it's quite nice to do the separate arms just to see where you're at with the um, with your space between your shoulders or your shoulders imprinting. Try and get nice and tall on your shoulder stands. 
that's point toes even. Bring it down with control. And you've got your double leg stretches. In, bring that lower back down. Last time all the way through. Try and breathe out into the extensions. Then feet on the mat and just arms out to the sides, breathing out, let both knees drop across to one side, lower back release. You can bring in that neck release, looking into the other direction if you want. Try and get really heavy with the shoulders, so just relax with the shoulders. And then centre over to the other side. Either moving through, or if you feel like you just need to hold that stretch for a little bit longer, go for a bit more of a hold. So, doing this the last couple of weeks, so we'll go, we'll go with it just to finish off the month. Um, eagle abs, so cross the legs, cross the elbows. Chin towards chest, four with the rep on this side. Do a quick stretch, I'll show you that in a second, then we'll go four on the other. Start with the chin to chest, draw elbows to knees. Drawing in the core. After you've done four, just see if you can hold on to your ankles and draw your ankles down towards your hips. Just for a quick stretch before you swap sides. Having a deep breath here. Try and relax the shoulders, perhaps feel a little bit heavier through the back body. Allow it just to sink down into the mat. Unravel, then go to the other side. Take your wraps, four of the eagle abs, chin up towards chin to chest, elbows to knees, breathing out. Nicely with control as you lower it. <laughs> then take that stretch, grab the ankles, draw them back towards down towards the hips. If you've noticed your chin lifting up to the ceiling, try and think about getting a bit of length at the back of the neck. So almost imprint the back of the head down in towards the mat a little bit more. Take the chin towards the chest, or you could always grab a cushion and put it underneath your head or a block. Okay, release from that. Gonna just take a um, glute stretch. So it doesn't matter which side you wanna do first, just put one foot across, um, just above the knee and then flex this foot, make sure you're flexing this foot. Then you can do a little bit more, you might be able to hold onto the thigh through here. Shoulders relaxed. Then just take an ever so nice uh, slow tilt across to the side where um, the opposite to what you're stretching and then just kind of hold it on this kind of really, and you're literally going to fall over. <laughs> but hold it on this edge and just feel like you've got a little bit more of a stretch. You're just creating space into that glute. So tilting to the opposite glute that you're stretching out. If you want a little bit more straighten the other leg, the spare leg that's doing the, doing the hinge. <laughs> You could take an ankle circle on that leg, so we're circling in there. And then bring it all back round, we're going to do the other side, so again put the foot across, flex that foot, hopefully you can get down, get holding in there, just get a little bit more of a stretch. Then just take an ever so slight little tilt across to that side, so your, the opposite side to the glute you're stretching, just to create that little bit more space in that stretch. Shoulders relaxed. You might want to straighten that leg, ankle circle. OK, 
Okay, unravel from there. Do you feel like you want a, ha a hamstring stretch as well? How are we doing? Oh, I'm running out of time. <laughs> okay, let's bring it up then. Let's come all the way up to seated position. A little bit about mobility just before we go into a rocking move. So C-shape the lower back down to upright position. As you go upright, try not to lift the chin. So keep the crown of head in line with spine. C-shape down. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed. So it's gonna work with the seal today, um, just because we've done lots of hip type stuff. I'm gonna double my mat over because this, this floor is quite hard. Normally when I'm in the lounge, I've got carpet. So soles of feet together. So you might you might just want to stretch here, holding this stretch. That's if if it's if rocking back isn't for you. Otherwise, you grab your hands, you wrap them under, hold on to your feet, take a hover. One, two, three with the flippers. Rock it back. One, two, three. Come back to that hover. See if you can get a little bit of a lift, like the golden thread, just lifting up your rib cage as you come back up to the center point. So you're almost straightening the, your, your back as you come upright. Last one. Oh, so come uh, with spine to rest. Come and sit. Cross-legged or leg straight if you prefer, grab blocks or cushions if you want. Try and get nice and upright. Perhaps just think before we put in our twist of um, just one thing that you can feel gra grateful about your body today or every day. Palms together, heart centre, breathing in to get tall, breathing out for your twist. Doesn't have to be too far around. Just get those long strands either either side of the spine. Activate it, a little bit of stretch. Breathing in to get tall, you've got that golden, actually it's like I've got a golden thread, doesn't it? <laughs> On my hair, golden thread lifting up the crown of your head. <laughs> that was Sailor. She did a little error. Don't know if you heard that. <laughs> so just finish hands on the knees and just see if you can take a little bit of a spiral. Again, working a lot on the hips today. Kind of a little bit of a spiral with the upper body. Obviously, that will also spiral a little bit where, where with the hips. Fall one way, and then fall back around the other way. Just ever so gentle, kind of tilting really with the shoulders. <laughs> it's not as early yawning. <laughs> Hands at heart centre, namaste. 